Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I am very excited today because we have Ron Beckenfield. Ron Beckenfield has a podcast in our podcast community. He is an amazing gentleman. He is the founder of Superior Source Vitamins, and he had been doing this probably um, since the late 60s. Uh, he started out in, in the trunk of his car selling vitamins. And from then on, he went into developing his own vitamin company and promoting healthy eating, healthy exercise and fitness. And today he is in his 80s and he looks like he's in his 20s. And he is here today to talk about health and to help us understand why diets don't work. And I'm very excited to have you on the show, Ron. Tell everybody a little about yourself and explain to us why diets don't work. That's a great question. People struggle with this all the time. Diets don't work. And people say that carbohydrate, you can't have carbohydrates. That is just absolutely untrue. The real, if you want to call it a trick or a secret to this, the key is eating fresh food. You can eat all you want. But where the problems come is the doctoring of the food. I'll give you a perfect example. Ribs, not a problem. It's not the greatest meat in the world to eat. Right. But it's plenty good enough. But when you go and put all that barbecue sauce on, all that, it's all heavily sugared, you're probably doubling the calories or at least tri might even be tripling of what you're eating of, of, the, of the meat. So yeah. I mean, the answer to that, again, it would be a nice little rub with some seasonings. It tastes wonderful and eliminate all those calories. Or like when you even mix tuna fish. Everybody uses mayonnaise, if I'm not wrong. Right. They got these uh, low-calorie mayonnaises that are just excellent. The tuna is not much calories. I mean, you can eat all you want. You'd be lucky to get 2,000 calories. Right. About 1,800, 1,800, which is a, a pro-calorie diet. But you got to understand how, how to handle the foods and when you're cooking with it, when, what kind of oils you're using. And you have to learn how to read labels that are extremely important in serving sizes. Mm -hmm. Extremely important. I can't tell you how important it is. And if you follow that, the weight will start coming off. You know, one or two pounds a week is what you want to lose. And you'll lose your probably close to your desired weight. And you'll probably level off. Your body will tell you to level off. But there, there's just no excuse for all these crazy diets. And I'll even mention Jenny Craig, right? Those are all basically calorie-based diets. And they give you a fixed a certain food you can eat. It's plenty of food, but right. they're, uh, they, they know how to put it together. Yes. You can have pasta. You can have rice. Just watch the sauces you put on. Exactly. All, all those accoutrements. That's the real key. And just to, and your, your flavor buds will adjust. You don't have to, you'll get away from the sugar. You'll, it'll be just a lot better. Oh, I, I agree totally with you. You know, a lot of people today are in a rush and they're in a go-go society and they're either picking up food, you know, going through the fast food, you know, aisle and, and they're ordering food. And a lot of that food has, you know, comes with sauces either on them or they get the sauces to put on the side or they're going in the food stores and they're buying the pre-made foods already, you know, and all that is processed foods that your body can't break down or has a very difficult time breaking down. So it stores it, you know, and there's a lot of sugars. Right. But even, in even you know, it, it, in the meats, if you can buy like the, right, the hamburger meat they probably use is not what I would call 80 or 90% lean meat. So you more fats in there, more calories and, and, and the bread, you know, the, 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 their object is to make money and they'll sell anything. But when they, the breads, they put sugar, addictive stuff to keep you coming back. Yeah. But you can have bread. Just watch what you're eating, what kind of bread. Right. Just read the label, read the serving size. If you can understand that, you're going to, you're going to, uh, if you're a little overweight, you'll whip yourself in line and real quick and you won't even notice the difference. Another key thing is when you get hungry between meals, how to satisfy that craving without getting a bunch of calories. Myself personally, I mm -hmm. use a product like this. That we make it superior source. It's called keto collagen. I don't know if you can see it. I can you put, a, put your hand down a little. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a great in-between meal. It's very filling. It's about 80 calories a serving. I mean, eat a, eat a piece of paper, you're going to get 80 calories out of it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not, nothing in it. So right. those type of things. So you get the craving. You don't stop off. If you might want to have a cup of coffee and you pick up that five or six or seven or a thousand calorie muffin. Yeah, shot. exactly. This will keep you in line. If it's not 
our powder, almost all the protein powders are great. I drink one to two a day, uh, but uh, and it really keeps my appetite in line. And I I could I consume a lot of food. Yeah. But like I just I had breakfast. I had eight egg whites, a piece of toast, good quality toast. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I put a, a a jam on there that had no calories. Right. And I had a basket of strawberries, and I had a cup of uh, tea, green tea. I think that's and you, I maybe had three hundred calories. So now I go to lunch. I mean, my snack, 80 calories. I'm not even at 400 calories. Uh, lunch, let's say I'm going to go at another three, 400 calories. So I'm at 800 calories. Another drink. You want to have another drink? 900. And my meal will put me, let's say, 500 calories. I'm at 1,400 calorie meal. And I've had five meals. 1,400 <laughs> calorie day. And I am full. Right. Protein powder. This one is just excellent here. I generally uh, uh, mix it in coffee. Mm -hmm. And it works excellent. And those are little tips, I think. Without going on a diet, you eat as much as you want. Uh, and you can even have a cheat day here and there. I mean, I, I I just do it when I want it. But this will really keep you in shape. Right. Very inexpensive. Most powders will run you maybe a buck a serving. That's like a buck a meal. What can you get a buck a meal for? Exactly. It used to be at McDonald's. That ain't happening no more. Not in California. Yeah. Those type of little secrets, and of course, I believe in supplementation. Nothing's better than real food, but supplements are what they are, supplements. Yes. I make sure uh, I take a, a, a vitamin D, for sure, that we make. It has no uh, no sugars, no uh, artificial sweeteners, binders, uh, uh, what you'd call a inactive ingredients are all chemicals. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. That's how big it is. Right. I love those because- oh I, uh, I, they, those is all right in your mouth and underneath your tongue. And it, it's so easy to, to, to take, you don't have to swallow anything. And, uh, and I've been using them probably like six years or seven years now. That's why you look so good. I'm going to stop. <laughs> you, better stop. you better stop taking that stuff. You're looking too good. Every time I talk to you, you get younger. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> we developed what's called a clean vitamin probably when nobody even heard of the word over 20 years ago. And that's what this is. Yes. It's just the active ingredient. And we're not using any of the, the flowing agents. When you get a regular hard tablet, it's the tablet weighs maybe a gram or two grams even. And they only got 250 milligrams of active. What are all the other stuff? Inactives, exactly. chemicals, flowing agents, coatings, all that type of stuff. Exactly. You know, I, I supplement. Yeah. No, no, no. I said, I said, you're right on ball because you know, what you're saying is exactly true. You could have a lot of food. It's just, you got to pick the right food and that matters. Eating is critical. You know, you, you are what you eat, you know, it just don't have to make a big deal out of it. Yeah. It doesn't even take a whole lot of willpower. You don't want to starve yourself. You starve yourself down to an 800 calorie, which is called a starvation calorie. Yeah. You're going to lose a bunch of weight, but you're going to get it all back. Plus more. you got to get something you can eat every day a certain amount of calories and you do need a, a little bit of exercise. I mean, you don't have to be a, like I am. I, I, I train twice a day and you just don't need it. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You put into yourself a meditation, yoga, anything you want. Right. A walk. That metabolism will start. Then your body will start craving around a certain time. You'll want to be hungry. That's what's happened to me. Right. I'll eat breakfast at six in the morning. I'm, by nine, I'm hungry. Have the yeah. protein drink. And if you just get on that pattern, it'll take a, your your body will uh, regulate to it. Mm -hmm. Just like even with your bowel movements, they'll become regulated to your eating. Right. People, it, 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 it doesn't take long. The body will, will adjust and you will start seeing, you'll feel better, you'll have more energy and you won't be pissed at yourself because you did this and did that wrong. Just got to get on the right movement, but we got to learn the value of food. A pound, a pound of greens is a hundred calories. Go eat a pound of greens. You'd be there all day on it. <laughs> all these little, these are the tricks of the trade I've learned. And you don't need to be on a diet because you'll all, always be eating good food at a, at a calorie amount your body can use. Right. And it'll, it'll just become a, a routine. Right. You can have your, your glass of wine. No big deal. Have your, uh, uh, even a shot of booze every day. So it, you can fit, fit it into it. It's yeah. not a big deal. It doesn't have to be a, oh my goodness, I can't have this. Oh my God. Eat all your favorite foods. Just make sure they're fresh. You know, and the 
supplementation is a uh, I think very very important like I mentioned yeah so you could you could have a drink you could you could like you said you could do all those things but in moderation and you know you have to eat the right foods I I agree a hundred percent with you as long as it's fresh I mean you, you're eating fresh food properly you don't even know it fried food the preparation try to broil it in but it's the sauces the croutons when you go to the fast food the dipping and this and that. they actually at the fast food place start with stuff that's not bad it's right. what they do to it if they, they put uh they put a surgery on it you know yeah yeah very true so true and they add all this stuff and fix all that and if they have to the taste and you get you, just the way i'm saying you get used to good clean eating you get used to eating this type of food right but the problem with that you get the consequences of overweight uh, diabetes and the uh, heart heart disease and everything else right you know, you can have a, a steak, you know, if you don't want to eat steak, don't eat steak, honey, but it's not going to kill you one a week or what. Right. And, uh, another thing I use is buffalo. I eat quite often. It's it's as lean as chicken and it doesn't have all the saturated fat. Right. The thing I'd recommend is at least get your blood pulled for a physical once a year and see where you're going. The blood tells everything. Oh, hundred percent. Especially on the males with this Western diet. That's, gives you the, the prostate problems you go to countries like japan where they don't eat much uh saturated type foods their diet is that they don't have the prostate yeah. they have other uh, uh, cancer issue because they eat uh, this uh, pickled stuff kimchi and all this pickled will tend to give you problems in the stomach oh really or mexico they're heavy with the everything's with the the, the tomatoes and the, uh, the uh, that type of stuff they have they have no prostate problems there so diet is related to everything Yes. And I would uh, uh, get a checkup at least once a year, get your blood checked. And, you know, if uh, you want to get it more often, just ask your doctor, to write a prescription or, and you go to one of these uh, labs, like a Quest Labs or one of these things. And the in and out of there, they do the blood, they give it to the doctor, send you a copy and you learn about these things. It's, it's, it's fascinating. Yeah. It's, you, I mean, know, you, I... wouldn't even, you, you wouldn't buy a car without even reading the frying print before you bought it. Now we're talking about your body. Exactly. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You know, I, th I think a lot of people don't go for enough and, of blood work. Take your superior source supplements for sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. blood Especially work is the very women, important. I mean, blood work's important for the women to get their annual uh, for the gynecologist and, and the breast and all that. I mean, just know you wouldn't, you wouldn't drive a car with your eyes closed. Right. You got to know that you got to know where in the heck you're going. And it's not a big deal. I mean, otherwise you can end up when you'll get older, like me, you'll be chasing around at doctors. That's all the hell you'll do. <laughs> That's all, all my older friends. All they do is go to the doctors, chase around them all the time. Mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't hurt to be preventative medicine. Just like you take your car, you take, take your car and get it service and oil. This not probably more than you take care of your body. And it's only a, you know, meaningless piece of metal, you know? Right. It's just, my take on things it seems to have served me well and that discipline will take you in life too yes you can learn to get up early you can get things done you can it just it just regulates your whole life yes it does i think, I think it's very important you don't have to get up as early as i do at four but uh you know if you want to give yourself a half hour to yourself or an hour and you have the family you got the kids and you know this modern society there's a lot of obligations especially for the women and you might have to just get up a little half hour early just to give yourself a little breather to put it all into yourself. I think it's very, very important. It is a hundred percent important. You know, I, I think it you're it's very important to have a good mindset. You know, you need to clear your mind, you need to focus, you need to really know what your goals are, you know, for the day, you know, what you want to accomplish. And um, you may not accomplish all those goals, but, you know, at least have a, an idea of what you want to do that day and eating right, eating a healthy breakfast, getting up early, maybe putting some time in the day where you have enough of time by yourself where you could do a little bit of exercise, a little bit of stretching, you know, and then focus on your day, focus on your responsibilities, but you're going to need energy for that. So you're going to have to eat the right foods. 
And you have to really decide, you know, what are the best foods for you? What foods agree with you? Because everybody has, you know, if you notice as time has gone on, all these different chemicals and these ingredients that they've put in the food over the years, you see so many people that are glucose intolerant, they can't handle milk, that lactose intolerant, um, you know, so it, there's so many different things going on. You see so many people with peanut allergies. When did you ever see peanut allergies when we were growing up? You know, you didn't. And uh, so a lot of these things have to do with the, with the ingredients that they're putting in the foods, the buildup in our bodies, the toxins in our bodies, it's causing reactions to a lot of people. And so we really need to stay as clean as possible. Like you said, you need to start eating, you know, plant-based foods that are clean. You know, you could have your meats. You could definitely have your meats, but don't, like you said, don't put a bunch of gravy on it, you know, keep it, keep it clean. You know, you don't need it. You can put some nice seasons on it. And I've, I've gone to stores and there, I, you know, great, there's great brands and they, they already have the seasons already, already mixed. And it, they have one for chicken, one for meat, one for, you know, for a whole bunch of different things. And, you know, you sprinkle a little of that on, gives you a nice little flavor, or if you like to do herbs, you know, to go in your garden or, you know, buy some herbs in a nice fresh, you know, market and use herbs to give some, you know, flavor, you know. Maybe add a little garlic, you know, and these are all healthy things that could really spice up a, you know, meal and, and they're healthy and they're clean. I agree hundred percent. It doesn't have to be a Herculean effort. Things have really changed in the last 20 or 30 years where all these, they can make cardboard taste good these days. I mean, it wasn't, <laughs> a, it wasn't a sprouts or a whole foods where you even, or even the mainstream Walmart, believe it or not is the biggest seller of organic produce in the world. They want to sell what makes them money. They can care if it's healthy or not, but there's a ton of good products that just weren't available. They really weren't. Yeah. And they're now, it makes it, it makes it easy. You don't have to be cooking or doing a lot of prepared foods. You even got these companies to deliver this stuff as clean, clean as can be. You just got to, your taste buds will take a little bit of adjusting. And then from there, you're on your way. You can't feel good if you're a little overweight or especially if you're a lot of overweight. Yeah. It just, it just not make you feel well. Right. It doesn't make you feel good. And everybody wants to feel good. It doesn't mean you're going to be a goddess or a god. You know, I mean, you do your best, but there's no reason to not feel well or feel good about yourself. And I think if you're a bunch of weight, you know, overweight badly, uh, you're not going to feel you know, stuff like Ozempic is not the answer to this stuff. Right. Just a little, it's not even a whole lot of discipline, just a slight tweaks here and there. You don't have to jump in it, you know, both feet at everything. Just, you know, start looking at, you know, your salad dressing, just for a perfect example. Pretty much every, I believe you should have a salad every day. Right. And you look at the dressings and some of these things, I got 400 calories. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. You don't even know it, but you can get these dressings that they don't have anything in like that. So I mean, just those little things and you start with the next thing. Uh, I eat potatoes regularly, not a problem. I'm just not slathering a lot of whatever, whatever on it, you know? Right. And, and just a little tricks here and there, and you will notice a huge difference in you, and you won't bother you. Yeah. And you can go out to restaurants. I mean, when I, years and years ago, I'd go ask for some egg white. I said, tell me to get the hell out of here and go somewhere else. They wouldn't give it to me. Now you can go to any place and get egg whites pretty much, or get a, you know, a side of this, a side of that, uh, of good fresh stuff. They won't, you know, they wouldn't do that. Right. So it makes a huge, huge difference. No, it does definitely does make a huge difference. You know, I think um, it's it's very important that we really focus on 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 what we're putting in our bodies. And you know, you you don't have to focus on a diet. You know, to me, diets don't work. I don't even really like that. I, the it, it's a terrible word, diet. It's a terrible word. Yeah, it's a terrible if word. You just, you can eat all you want if you eat good food. Just learn how to read the labels a little bit and some common sense. And you'll be feeling good, looking good. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. You know, a lot of these, you know, unhealthy ingredients that are in foods, you know, those are the things that make you fatigue and tired, you know, and people don't realize that. They say, oh, I have chronic fatigue, but what are you eating? And then you listen to what they're eating. It's like, this is why you feel that way, you know, and- you, you know, instead it of becomes eating... a fist of as you're eating bad, as you're eating bad, you might be gaining weight. Of course, you're going to get tired if you, if you gain in weight. You, I mean, you're lugging around weight, you know, you know, it, it's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You there know, there should be nobody unhealthy in America. 
this food's available and a lot of the healthy foods are actually cheaper. Right. I eat tuna fish, sardines. It's a, it's a run up. Right. You know, a bucket, so it's a bucket the most put a lemon on it. Uh, uh, the tuna, you just watch how you doctor it up. I eat that a lot of that. Right. Plus a lot of course, fresh, fresh chicken. Everybody eats chicken. Everybody eats fish. Everybody yeah. eats meat. What, what, what are you doing with it? Everybody eats a salad. Everybody eats a vegetable. What are you doing with this? You know, what are you putting on it and the doctoring right. it? That's the difference. We're all eating the same food. Yeah. Yeah. I have a yeah. friend. She just puts like vegetables on and she puts like beets and things like that on her salad and she doesn't use any salad dressing. And it's the fruit, it's the fruits and the vegetables that she puts in her salad that gives so much flavor that she doesn't need the dressing. Well, lemon's a great flavor enhancer. Mm -hmm. It is. You're squeezing a lemon. That's inexpensive. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money for this. No, I mean, not at all. You need to slave over it. But I mean, reading the labels are critical. Reading servings. Sizes. So many serving sizes. Are per One serving size is this calorie. Or somebody for, you know, the whole bag of jar. You know, it, 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 you don't have to slave over this stove either. A lot of this is available already pre-packaged. I mean, even the chips, they, they've cleaned that up a lot now. And I'm, I'm not a chip eater. I just yeah, yeah. For they've cleaned all that stuff up. You can get them and they, they make them out of everything. All right, any you name it, they make chips out of it. <laughs> I mean, it's all available. It never was available. It's a great amount of choices. These are phenomenal. A, a visit to your, uh, uh, maybe a, a Sprouts, like that, those big, big health food stores, they have everything under the sun, even a Whole Foods. Uh, yeah. And you can find things. And then the mainstream picks them up, like Walmart, if they sell well. And they got them in there, or a, a, a great place to shop, I found, for mm -hmm. me to get really good quality food in their quality company is Trader Joe's. Right. Reasonably priced with tremendous quality uh, I know the people over there run the show over there personally, and mm -hmm. their their quality is beyond anybody. Right. All the major chains are have to put out quality. They all care. Yeah. Especially when they put their brand on it. So exactly. I think pretty uh, uh, sure to that. Nobody wants to put out junk intentionally, and that's what works for me. And I've been doing it sixty plus years. Mm -hmm. I'm eighty years old. And I still got some abs on me. Yeah. You look great. No, you, you look phenomenal. And I, you know, I agree with you, you know, not everything has to be organic. People think, you know, they've been trained by the media that everything has to be organic. Well, no, we, we do have to have certain things that are organic because we don't want those sprays and pesticides in our food. But like you mentioned, you mentioned over a dozen things right now that we could eat that don't have to be. Even the organic thing. Even the organic, they're using some some sort of pesticides, but they're certified organic. Mm -hmm. they may, and they're not, not made from chemicals. They can do that. Yeah. So you can have non-organic, but and everything that they use, uh, uh, these pesticides have been cleared by the FDA. They've been around for decades. Uh, I prefer to eat all organic, but mm -hmm. they have to, that stuff has to be treated too. Yeah. Or they'll lose their crops. But but they're treating with organic type pesticides. I agree. So uh, if you want to use that word or, you know, to keep bugs and all that stuff away from them. Right. And, and I use eggs as a very big thing. You can buy, if you don't want to crack eggs, I got the egg whites right in the little, uh, in the in the carton there. Yes. Great source of protein. Another thing we need to touch on is the key is you must, as you get older, you must have about a gram of protein per body weight. So yes. And with, I suggest every time you eat, protein is your your foundation. Yes, it is. It's fish, chicken, beef, whatever. Then you have fresh good. You can have a potato, a little rice, some mm -hmm. vegetables, a nice salad. I'm not a bread eater or a butter eater. I just don't don't eat it. I just don't care. Yeah. But, you know, bread's a lot of calories. You got to be careful there. But you can you build from the protein up. And the protein a slow burning fuel you got to burn something you need carbohydrates no carbohydrates i don't that's a bunch of bunk <laughs> i mean you got to have some carbs but it's got to be in proportion yes i agree i agree you do, you do need some fats too healthy fats yes definitely you can get that from your fresh avocados and so on and so forth yeah 
Our keto protein has a MTC of coconut fats, which is fantastic. Everything organic. Mm -hmm. And if you follow that, you're not going to have no, you're going to see a difference. You're not going to lose 20 pounds in, 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 a, in a month. Right. You should lose uh, maybe six, seven, eight pounds a mm -hmm. month and keep going off without noticing anything, without sacrificing, without going crazy, you know. I see you're drinking nice tea if you want a little caffeine. Actually, I'm drinking a, a protein drink as I'm talking to you. So I have reds, I have greens in there. I have your your uh, apple cider and um, and uh, beetroot in there. I have um, I have oh, some probiotics for your brain in there and for mm -hmm. your gut. And, uh, and, and I have, and I, I mix that up every morning and, um, and I put a protein powder in it and I have different flavor protein powders. I use yours sometimes, sometimes I, cause I'm a pumpkin person. I like pumpkin. I'll use a, a, a pumpkin pa powder protein. And so, and then I'll, I'll put that in the morning as my morning drink and it fills me up Same and here. all my nutrients in it. And then later on, I'll, I'll have maybe a matcha tea right. and then I'll, I'll put, you know, I'll take some of your beetroot again with your apple cider vinegar and I'll put that in there because it has a nice flavor and I like the, the taste of the beetroot and the matcha together. And that will be like a in-between drink and it kind of fills me up for a while and it kind There's of- no calories, Stace. There's no yeah. calories. I don't yeah. think that drink, unless you're doctoring up, I mean, if you start putting some bananas and all, which is not bad, it'll just drive the calories. Yeah. So you're probably not having more than 150 calories of that drink. I mean, that is like nothing. And you're getting all that nutrition and all that fresh stuff in you. Right. Absolutely. You you got it down pat. <laughs> I oh, think that's it, what it is. Yeah. No, I, I think I think you're 100 percent right. We have we can't look at it as the word diet. We have to look at it as a lifestyle change. And we have to focus on healthy based foods that are clean you know, and, and getting that protein, like you stress, you know, you're, you're, you're a hundred percent right. We need more protein in our diet, you know, and we have to pick the right protein and, you know, not. Absolutely. That's the building blocks, especially you want to be older, maybe you're, you're in your fifties or whatever, and you got a young family, you really don't, you're, you don't feel good. You can't go, go around with them. I mean, you know, just not good. Yeah. And this is just a little bit of a, you know, ease up on the fork a little bit here, you know, with the bad <laughs> stuff. I That's think, what I think the message I want to get out. Yeah. A lifelong message. Yeah. You have a good life. If you're feeling good, everything's going to fall in place. Yeah. And I, you know, I also. Positive, it gives you a positive attitude when you're feeling good. Oh, when you're yeah. eating right. When I have a little piece of junk or I do eat some junk every now and then, yeah, I, it kind of plays on me a little bit mentally maybe i'm a mm -hmm. little nuts i don't know but i i do it now and then and i'm at, I, I, i'm not happy with myself right but maybe that's just you know you are where you eat you rest your rust right 100 percent. if you're feeling good you're gonna have more energy you're gonna go for your family to do things you won't be chasing around the doctors you won't be worried agitated a hundred percent it'll weaken you mentally yes you can there's enough, you know, stuff going around everywhere else. You don't need any more problems. Oh, you, I agree. You, you can control yourself. What's happening out in the world, you can't. But this, you're in control of yourself. There's no excuse for just a tiny bit of knowledge and maybe a, a little bit of discipline, not even a whole lot. Right. The knowledge. Yes. I agree. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's my message for today. <laughs> I think you gave a great message today. You know, I think it's really important. The things that you mentioned today, I think- I would love to hear from your readers that people, I would love to hear from your listeners. People have made these just little change. I like a feedback. Yeah. Nothing drastic. And maybe you should put something out, explain how to look and read at a label. I will. But before we, we do that, I want you to give three takeaways before we close today. And three things you want to emphasize to the reader, to the listeners. And I want you to explain to them three things that you think are really important, things that you want to emphasize. So when they close today, the last three things they're going to remember, what do you want them to remember? From the Diets don't work. Mm -hmm. Diets don't work. Listen to Stacy because she's got it pretty much a 100% nail. You've <laughs> had your adversity. You've come back. 
and just keep a positive, healthy attitude. And by taking care of yourself, you are just going to feel better top to bottom, inside and out. A hundred percent. Yeah, those are really good things to take away. Those are really good advices. And where can people find your vitamins? Where can they find superior source vitamins? Uh, on Amazon, Walmart. Uh, if you're uh, out of this, out of the country, iHerb is terrific. Vitacost, uh, CVC for Health, and uh, some of the major retailers, Sprouts, uh, Vitamin Cottage, Whole Foods, uh, Vitamin Shop, and many, many, many uh, independent retailers. And what is your website? Uh, see, see, you can go to see Superior Source dot com or if you want to purchase something for cvc for health dot com Excellent. we're not very expensive we're not a real pricey line we manufacture everything in-house ourselves and that'll be another show we'll go into mm -hmm. with our quality control and how how we run our business we've been in business i'm going to 60 years you gotta be it. doing something right to stay in business for 60 years you're definitely doing something right if you've been in business for 60 years that's for I sure i got more passion for it than i've ever had and i'm still working I still work. I'm enthusiastic. I, when I open my eyes, I can't get waiting to get going here. Every mm -hmm. morning, four o'clock, bam, I'm, I'm up and on, on the move. I love it. I love it. Well, you are amazing. And I love talking to you. And so, today's show so. was great. I, you are, I I think you gave us a world of uh, of information, valuable information and some things that people could use because diets don't work. It's it's a lifestyle change and it's doing the right thing. And you gave them lots of examples today on how to do the right thing. So thank you very much for coming on the you show and sharing your knowledge with us today. Okay. Are we going right. to talk some more after this? Like always, of course. So I, I just want to close and <laughs> I just want everyone to know that you are an amazing person with such great compassion. And I thank you so much for being on the show. Same, same back. They should take you over to the White House and give, like, they give those little medals away to special people. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, you do a service to people and you, they think you're just, a, you know, hawking a, a health coop. That's just not so. <laughs> You're and amazing. You're doing a service to people and you don't have to even pay for it either. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for, for those kind words. I love you, Ron. Oh, same here.